Okay, so first of all, in order to calculate a Spearman's correlation, you need to do equals coral, which stands for correlation, and then array one is rank dot average, and then select the whole of the first column and comma, and then select the whole of the first column again and close brackets and comma. Then array two is rank dot average and select the whole of the second column and comma and select the whole of the second column again and then close brackets and close brackets again and enter. And this is the Spearman's correlation. It is also sometimes called the row value or the R value. Now, I have another video where I explain in more detail how to calculate this correlation, but in the rest of this video, I'm going to be explaining how to calculate the significance of this correlation. So the next step is to calculate the N value, which is the number of data points. And to do this, do equals count, and then select the whole of the column, it doesn't matter which one, and close brackets and enter. And so I have 23 data points. The next thing we need to calculate is the T value. And this equation here shows how to calculate the T value, it is equals the row value times by the square root of open brackets n minus 2 close brackets divided by open brackets 1 minus the row value squared so to the power of 2 close brackets close brackets again and enter and this gives you the t value the next thing we need to calculate is the p value, and this is equals t dot dist dot two t, and the two t stands for a two-tailed test, and the x number, the x value here is the t value we just calculated, and it's generally considered good practice to put the absolute formula around this, so a b s. The absolute formula will take any negative number and turn it into a positive number, but if the number is already positive, it will just leave it as positive. So if your t test here produces a negative number, it will turn it into a positive number because the t dot dist formula can't handle negative numbers. So put this into brackets and then comma, and the degrees of freedom is n minus 2, and close brackets, and enter. And this is the p value. Now, p values of less than 0 0.01 are generally considered to be significantly different from no correlation. So the lower the p value, the better. And as my p value is less than 0 0.01, it suggests that this correlation here is significant. So these two values are actually correlated with each other. There is another way of getting these numbers using an Excel add-in called Real Stats, which you can download for free from the website in the description. And when you do, you will have another formula called S Coral, which stands for Spearman's Correlation. And you'll need to select six cells in a two by three grid. Then select the whole of the first column and comma, and then select the whole of the second column, and then comma and the number one, then close brackets, then control, shift, and enter, and it will calculate all these numbers for you. So we end up with the same numbers here as we did here. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to calculate the significance of the Spearman's correlation in Excel, and that is everything.